Hello and welcome once again to Tamara's Palette. Today's free tutorial is on this particular sleeve. Let's get right into it. So you would need a piece of fabric, preferably organza, you know, sheer fabric, something lightweight. And then you cut it. I cut mine by 20 inches by 34 inches. And I'm going to explain in a bit how you're going to get this measurement or how you'd know the particular measurement you would want to use for yours the other thing you'd need is this very thick fishing line at this point i do not know the measurement of this fishing line because i've had it for so long and the paper that is usually on it is no longer there so just ask in any craft store this is a cutting footer and it comes in this pack of 10 footers for your blackhead machine so if you want this pack i can sell it to you i actually have it for sale for just fifteen thousand naira so i'm going to be showing you two steps or two ways to method uh, with which you could make this particular sleeve that we are making today the first method is going to be this particular cutting footer method so i've changed my footer on my blackhead machine and you can see that it's working perfectly well uh, and don't forget if you need that footer i would sell it for you just check in the description you see my contact there you can message us and you can order it while based in Lagos. Okay, so this cutting footer, what it does is any type of cord, it enables you to sew it into any place you want to sew it. Okay, so you might want to use it for a design or your neckline or anything. So that's what the cutting footer does. But in this case, we're going to be using it to place the fishing line into this organza fabric. Okay, don't forget you would want to use organza any sheer preferably organza is the best anyway but you could maybe use uh chiffon maybe but preferably organza okay now this is the first one you can see how it, the cord the fishing line sewed perfectly into it so you could also use this for different type of cords it can stay into it as long as the cord is not so big I'm doing the second one so this is how you keep doing it you put the cord in it and then you wrap the fabric around it at this point if you are still watching this video then I don't know why you've not liked subscribe you know or drop a comment so please kindly do that I mean this is a free tutorial the least you could do is to support us by subscribing and liking Thank you so much. You can also follow us on Instagram at Tamara's Palace and at TP Fashion School. We also have our Facebook page. The link is going to be in the description. So please do well to follow. And we also have several online classes. We have um, a full corset master class, which is 5,000 Naira. The links are in the description. We have a Safari Suite class. We have... Um, a ready to wear class for those who want to become fashion designers it is a full course that you could join today okay so let's get back into this video so this is the first method like i've shown you the cutting method that's how it works now the second method is um it's called pin talks okay pin talks so you could do more research on pin talks in this case we're doing something similar but we are not sewing it at the same time with the cord so that is um the little difference there so we're just sewing this straight on its own like the fabric like a pleat like you're sewing a pleat straight down it's actually called pain talks now this this brings me back to when i told you i was going to explain the amount you are going to use for your whiteness so it's determined by how much you, how wide you want it to be and how many pink talks you want it to be okay so as wide as you want it to be you could times that by three by three so let's say you want it to be you want the sleeve at the end of the day to be like 12 inches wide you could times it by three um by three so what it gives you then you're, that's what you're going to be using to create this little little pleat so it's going to be wider mine is not so wide because this is just an example i do not really have any dress to actually use it on but stick with me to the end of this video because at the end of this video you're going to see like an extra bonus tips there that you could use on your own sewing project okay so watch till the end all right so just do these pin talks as wide apart 
as you want them to be so you could make them half inch wide apart you can make them one inch wide apart so the most beautiful and the the more structure that you intend to have means you have to do more like you have to sew more paint talks if you get what i'm saying so let's say you wanted to have a whole lot of structure then you're going to have to sew more paint talks <laughs> basically because you are going to see the reason soon because we'll be putting we'll be putting in the fishing line into each of them. Now, if you look closely at my own material, I joined it because the material was not enough. So, but you don't have to join your own. So make sure yours doesn't have any joining. All right. Uh, we just so 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 so. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and you also turn on your notification bell so that the moment I post a new video, you'll be the first person to be notified. Also, I usually um, ask, you know, questions to you guys to know what you'd like me to do next. So if you have something you really want from me, you could join our Telegram group. It's also in the description. The link to the, to the Telegram group is in the description. So on the Telegram group, you could ask and request for patterns on a particular style. It's for free. So you could request for my help on anything you want. And I would be willing to do that for you. Now is the stage where you can see that I'm done sewing. And you see that I started with smaller and then I made it bigger. So you could sew it as much as you like. I ironed it down. And the next thing I'm going to do is put in that fishing line into all those lines that we have made. Okay, so you decide which one is easier for you. I feel like the um, cutting method with the cutting footer is easy for me because I don't have to come again and start pushing it in. Because after pushing the fishing lines in, I'm going to still go back to the ironing board and iron them. But with the cutting method, with that cord footer, once I've sewn the cord in to into place, I just go to the table and iron it together at once. So it's like really easy. <laughs> so, but if you don't mind the back and forth of sewing, then ironing, then pushing the cord and ironing again, if you don't mind that, then you could also use the pin tox method, whichever one you like. Now this. This is the interesting part. Now, nah, this is the interesting part. This is the part we have all been waiting for. Let's go to the pinable dummy. So, this is basically dripping. And what dripping means is you are being creative, okay? Though we are trying to recreate the style, you could just see me pinning it and adjusting it. I did not have my phone to reference it. I mean, I need a new phone at this point so that I can have one phone for referencing and one phone for videoing at this point. But yeah, so I was trying to recreate that sleeve. Um, if mine was bigger, it would have come out looking like as much as as better. But you get the idea. You get the idea. You just need to play around with it. And you're going to see me playing around with this particular thing and see how I use it to make several different other designs by just shifting it and pinning it here and there and I hope you know that okay you're not going to pin this on your client dress you're going to be sewing it down of course with your hands and on those edges they are going to cover it up with either um, trimming or with beading you just be creative and then cover it up you don't want it to look rough you want it to look really nice this is a style that you could definitely use for a huge couture dress, you know, for a high class dress, for even a wedding, like like the picture that we used to reference. This is this is something you could use and it's giving really, really classy, rich vibes. That's all I'm saying with this because if I actually put in time, if you put in time to sew it down with your hand, it's gonna come out looking so nice. I didn't really count how many designs I made, so if you counted, drop it in the comment section. Let me know how many designs I made with this. And let me know, like, if you... Okay, so remember I said, if you stay to the end of this video, I have a surprise. This is one, which are these several different other designs that you can do on your dresses. And I still have one more, but just hold on, just hold on. Watch all the designs. Look at this one. This is something you could do on a fitted dress and then you just use it on it, you know. This 
fishing lifestyle is really really versatile and adds class and adds some bougie to any cloth you put it on so don't be scared play around with it you know play around with it and i'm sure you're going to like it it's so fine i really fell in love with it i'm definitely going to use it for a an outfit of mine very soon okay so we are already drawing close to the end of this video but i just decided to show you another one a method of putting it on the sleeves and then taking it towards the back and bringing it back to the side really really really, really classy now my surprise for you guys is if you try this like if you do this design if you do this fishing line thing that i've taught you and then you tag me on instagram at tp fashion school and at tamara's palace then you stand a chance of winning an airtime of 1500 naira. it's not much but if you want it just practice it see you in another class thank you bye love you mm -hmm.